Thank you so much for stopping by today. Did you know that there is a verse in the Bible that says, The angel of the Lord encamps about those who fear him. What does that word mean to fear the Lord? It means to show reverence because he is an awesome God. And Jesus himself said to fear God who has the power to cast your soul into hell. He says, don't fear man, but fear God. I'm pretty sure that if you've been a Christian very long, you can probably think back about the times that you've been protected from disaster. I recall this one time. Oh, it's probably back in the 90s or so. And my husband and I were into trucking at that time. And I won't go into all the story about how we got into trucking. But at one point, we had to make a decision of what we were going to do to earn a living. And we had some friends that were into trucking. And they said, oh, you ought to do that. And that's what they were into. And they even had their own business in it. And they did very well. So we went to trucking school. And so... My husband and I were a team on this truck that this company had hired us and there was one time they sent us to California and we were driving in the mountains over there and and it was at night time and I was the one that was driving and then I know it was the Holy Spirit that spoke to me and said, switch drivers. So I just had this feeling go all over me. And so I told my husband, I said, let's switch. So we did. And I'm telling you what, it wasn't but just a minute or so. I mean, it was a very short amount of time when he was driving. And he started putting on the brakes real hard. And there was this big old huge white cloud that came up. And my eyes started burning. Me, I mean, they were burning so hard. And, and when he stopped that truck, we got out. And we were looking and what happened was this other driver who was driving a flatbed truck had a wreck his flatbed truck swerved over turned over it had 40,000 pounds of onions and those onions were just sprawled across the road so I think about that I was thinking about that yesterday and I thought that is one time I know that God saved our lives. Because if I had been driving, I probably would have hit that truck. That cloud of, of onion dust was just flying so strong and my eyes were just hurting me so bad. And I just think that God saved us from disaster but after that, we had to back up down the road a ways and go on around that other truck. But I just think about the times that God saved us. I know I've told these stories before, but it's just absolutely amazing what God did for us. And there was another time we were driving in Canada and the roads were real icy I mean such icy roads it was so bad that our trailer 
if we got over about 10 miles an hour our trailer would start swerving over towards the ditch so we just had to inch our way down the road but we couldn't stop because we would freeze to death I mean we had to keep going and you know we didn't want to run it run out of fuel either and that was another reason why we had to keep going and we couldn't drive off into the ditch and we just had to keep going we didn't have any other choice but we finally finally made it to our destination and we didn't run out of fuel and I was praying to the Lord oh that was a very stressful time but the silver lining was we got to see Niagara Falls on the Canadian side and I'd like to tell this other story I later on in life uh, after my husband and I had divorced and I moved to Oklahoma City and I got a job driving a truck and I would fill in for people they would let me know when I needed to fill in for a particular person and they would send me on runs and they sent me on this one place one night and if I remember correctly it was just a drop I don't think I even had to hook up to another trailer I just had to drop the trailer I had and then just leave well I got into that yard and I tried to unhook that trailer and it wouldn't unhook for me now those years that I had been a team and we had our own rig I didn't have any problem unhooking the trailer at all but I don't know why this trailer that particular night would not unhook and I began crying out to God crying out to God about it because it was probably around three o'clock in the morning or so and there was going to be no one showing up over there and I would just be stuck probably until the next morning so God worked a miracle he worked a divine miracle for me I cried out to God and did you know that trailer just unhooked now I'm not making this up I'm telling you what that happened it is one time in my life I know God heard and answered my cry so remember that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him he sure does I'm telling you what God loves his children and he wants to keep them in his loving tender care I learned that at a very young age and let me share with you what happened to me when I was just a tiny little tot I was walking to the school bus it was a few blocks from my house and I got on this one particular block and this bully comes running out of the house across the street and when I first saw him I wasn't really frightened and he was spewing out some mean words and he was running towards me at a very fast pace so the closer he got I began to get frightened and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said say Jesus and I said Jesus in my mind and right then immediately I saw this boy appear right in front of me about the same age as that bully and he had flaming red hair 
white skin with splotches of freckles all over his face and piercing blue eyes. He didn't look at me. He was looking at that boy. And then I'll never forget the shocked look on that bully's face. He was shocked. And of course he stopped in his tracks. And then that guardian angel, I know it was my guardian angel, ran over there to that bully and they were rolling around in the ditch. And so that angel protected me. And I walked on to the bus, but I remember that. And there are many times in my life when God has miraculously saved me. And there may be times that I don't even know of when I was saved. But this one time when I lived in Georgia, I was stepping back from my roof of the house and looking, and it was in a residential area, 25 miles per hour. And when I was stepping off of the edge, right near the road, I felt this hand touch my shoulder and push me back on towards the grass area. And right then, right like that, this car zoomed past me. It was so fast. He's probably going 40 miles an hour, but I could hear the vroom and I could feel the wind because he barely missed my back area. And so I know that God protected me and he saved me. And I've done videos about other times when God has protected me. But share in the comments about the times that God has protected you. And remember, God loves you, and so do I. Amen.